Now it's time for your Weather Ready Nation report. Last week we talked about how to make sure that you and your kids stay safe this football season in the heat. Today we'll be getting a little bit more hands on in your Kellyanne's Weather Class. This is a segment that we would do every second Sunday or Wednesday of every month in your Weather Ready Nation report. That's right. You'll hear, you hear us say, look before you lock throughout the hot summer months to help prevent heat related deaths. Seems like an obvious thing that we're reminding you of, but it's an issue that happens every year with Texas leading the nation in the number of people who have died in hot cars. But how hot can your car actually get just after five minutes? What about 10 minutes? I decided to test this out. Take a look. The average temperature this time of year is 86 degrees. But as we all know, living in West Texas, it gets even hotter during the summer and fall months. So for our experiment, we decided to test out a temperature of 96 degrees. We took a thermometer and put it in one of our news vehicles and checked how the temperature changed every five minutes. After 30 minutes, we decided to check the temperature inside the car. After five minutes, it got up to 105 degrees. After 10 minutes, 115 degrees. And after 30 minutes, it got up to 124 degrees. But can five or 10 minutes in this heat really cause health issues? We spoke with Chief Medical Officer Dr. Carrie Pickney at Covenant Children's Hospital, who says it definitely can. Children overheat three to five times faster and they end up with severe brain damage and literally cannot cool themselves off. Uh, and very often they die very quickly, um, and it's, it's a very um, awful way to die. And if your child is lucky enough to survive after being left in a hot car, they may still suffer lifelong health and developmental issues. On average, um, one child dies every nine days in this country of what we call vehicular heat stroke. This is a situation that is preventable and sadly something that many folks don't think about until it's too late. Texas leads the nation in the number of people who have died in hot cars so far throughout 2018. There have been 46 heat related deaths across the United States. It doesn't take long to cause life threatening health issues. So even if you think it's only going to be five minutes, do not ever leave anyone or any pets in a hot car and always remember to look before you lock. Now, Heidi, here's something cool. So Covenant Children's Health is rolling out these safety snaps. And so what you do is you put this in your child's um, car seat okay. before they get in and then when you put the, the child in you take this out hook your child up of course in the car seat and then you put this over your head and around your neck and so then when you're driving to the place that you want to go to and you leave your car you remember oh I have a kid in my car and then you of course remember to take them out before anything gets too late well and of course if you happen chance did forget you have a nice big sign on your chest for everyone to point out hey where's the baby you're missing it. So exactly. wonderful thing Covenant's doing, and they're giving them out for free, which is the exactly. best part. And for more.